Hey everybody, welcome to coverage of game two of this match. So, black is Steinitz here, and it's white to move, but this is not a quiz for you guys yet. I'm just going to talk about the position. So white, white is not happy here. Why is that? Well, black has really easy play along the F file, and white has no clear plan that makes any sense, which is always a difficult situation to be in when you don't have an obvious plan to play. So he's kind of floundering here, and he plays the move knight on f to e1. I'm not exactly sure what his plan is. Maybe f3, knight to d3, knight to f2, and then control e4. Who knows? Uh, in case I wasn't clear, some kind of plan like that. But he plays knight on f to e1. And now my question to you is to pause the video and figure out how you would play here for black. Okay, um, this is a key position. The key to this position is there's a move that would be very strong if we could play it. Uh, and that is if we could somehow control this f4 square and just go knight f4. We could do it now, but he would go bishop takes, which is still good for black, but not as good if we could just bring our knight to f4. Meanwhile, you notice our bishop on e7 is not really participating in, in the play whatsoever. So all of this leads to the logical conclusion that we should play bishop to g5, which is exactly what Steinitz did. And Gunzberg was uh, understandably scared of knight to f4 and played the move g3. And now my question to you is what should black play again? So pause the video, try to figure it out. And this was a blunder. It makes sense because knight's coming to f4 and it stops knight f4. However, he overlooked a, a nice tactical move, knight to c3, attacking the queen. The bishop cannot take because a bishop takes rook. Uh, and so his queen has to move, but where can the queen move? Unfortunately, nowhere. If it goes to h5, for example, we just take the bishop. Uh, and after knight c3, White is losing. White had really no choice but to take. Black took at, on, on c1 and ended up winning the game with the extra exchange. And therefore, Steinitz scores first blood and is up in the match one and a half half. Thank you guys for watching. See you tomorrow with another game from this match.